Welcome to another edition of My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And this morning we want to look at um, Spanish Town in particular, St. Catherine North Police Division. And the Gleaner is reporting that eight murders took place in 48 hours as gunmen terrorized St. Catherine North. And we want to ask a question. What is really, really happening in Jamaica? I thought that, yes, crime was always a big issue. But we thought that with the introduction of the big C, with Corona being so rampant, I thought at least, and the curfews being put in place, I thought at least the crime figures would go down. Even though they are suggesting that for this period, crime has gone down 1.6%. But even though they say crime is going down, by 1.6% and 1.6% no matter how small it is is a reduction the cases are still fresh in our mind and are driving fears in the, the hearts of Jamaican people now listen to this that happened in Thompson Pen. this is not far from Trial Heights as a matter of fact Thompson Pen Road leads to Trial Heights but listen to this a man in Thompson Pen Spanish Town was held at gunpoint and asked to call his wife out. Her name is Janice Ellison Reed. When he called her out and she came into the living room, the, the hoodlums sprayed bullets, killing the woman while her children barricaded themselves in her room. So on Sunday, we had an elderly lady, Iselin McFarlane, her granddaughters, Christiana, and Miss Lena McFarlane all taken out a couple me uh, a couple miles away in trial lights that's not very far as I said and now we have this lady um Janice Ellison Reed who was killed in her in her in her living room while her children had to barricade themselves to save their lives Although clearly they didn't come to take the kids nor the husband because they asked the husband to call her out and when she came out, they murdered her. Another situation is 68-year-old Elijah Griffiths was discovered in bushes in Kitsentown on Monday. His head was partially severed. That's an elderly man, 68 years old. What could this man do to you for you to take him out just like this our understanding is that he left for work and he did not show up and he did not return when the person started to check they stumbled upon his body um on monday and then 22 year old kasim angus was killed outside a bar his eyes blown out based on what we are hearing is that Angus was at the bar and men came up per, 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 he, he went there with a female men came up he was sitting there around other persons the killers told other persons to move and just took his life now this is I don't know how to explain I don't know what is going on but Jamaica if it is not right it is becoming a failed state. Jamaica is coming a failed state and something has to be done about this. The lady in Thompson Pen, right? Um, her, even her mother was at the house. Her mother had to run and lock herself in the bathroom so she and the kids were saved. The incident happened about six o'clock. That's broad night. That's broad evening. And all the children we understand have been traumatized. The youngest being a five-year-old. And the husband eventually managed to escape as the gunmen 
hurriedly took away themselves from the scene. Now we are wondering if it's another situation of can't catch Kwako, he catch him shot. However, it seems as if they have catch Kwako because the family is worried that Janie's son, Jermaine Dennis, have been reported missing after not returning home on Monday. They theorize he was kidnapped after reports surfaced that they saw him and forced him in a car. Now, I don't know what to say. This situation is getting from bad to worse. Even though statistics on the Jamaica Constabulary Force show that the division has seen a 35% increase in killings up to November 20 compared to the corresponding period in 2019. There have been 108 murders, an increase of 28 the division has seen a 21.7% increase in shooting over the period. So even though they say over, the overall statistics shows that crime is down by 1.6%, but in the St. Catherine North Division, it is getting worse because, they, as, they, as I said, they have reported that 108 murders have taken place so far. An increase of 28 and we all know that there's a war presently going on with, with between members of the Klansman gang in St. Catherine so that number is expected to go up sooner or later and we know there are other killings that we haven't heard about in the in the news but I hope you know Jamaica is becoming a failed state. Persons are scared, especially persons living in the diaspora, are scared to even think about going back to Jamaica. When you hear of these killings, it sends chills down your spine. But at the end of the day, we hope the security minister and the relevant authorities can come up with measures to stem this crime, this crime, this surge of crime. And if you, any of my viewers, know why. We can't return to hanging. You can let me know in the comment section because I, even though I don't know if it will solve the problem, but what makes matters even worse is when you look and you see videos of prisoners enjoying themselves in prison, you wonder, does it really make sense to catch these culprits and turn them over to the police so that they can have their day in court and if convicted, they go to prison? Because when convicted and go to prison, They'll have a very jolly good time so far because videos that have been surfacing these days are showing you these prisoners having very good, jolly good time in prison. It's like they're outside, they're having parties, they're enjoying themselves, they're flossing, all type of alcohol. But it is what it is and something has to be done to this crime monster. COVID is rampant, but the crime is stationary. It's still happening. It's happening every single day day and it is getting worse but don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified until next time be safe be safe i can't stress it anymore be safe look out make sure the kids are safe look out for a family member and also look out for a neighbor 